Well, Liberians observed Decoration Day last week when they visited cemeteries to clean their graves of dead relatives and spend time with the departed. But Ebola changed the observance this year. Some people's relatives have no graves. They were cremated to stem the Ebola epidemic. Bino Mushla files from Margibi County with reporting from Prince Collins. Joe F. Kaisua died a year ago of Ebola. His sister still can't believe it. Her pain was too overwhelming to say anything. His son, Friday Kaisua, found a few words. All I can say, I'm happy to be able to stay, to come this morning to be able to at least dug up with my father's grave. Because he's happy, he's so happy day for me because for us we never expected him to have a grave. On Decoration Day, Liberians commemorate their lost ones, visit and clean their graves. This year, the day stirred the pain of the Ebola epidemic that has taken the lives of almost 10,000 people in West Africa, including more than 4,000 in Liberia, in the past year. At Harbelt Cemetery in Margibi County, some people quietly stood around tombs, but others collapsed to the ground. They did not have enough time to digest the loss, says Kortu Kualar, a pastor of the community. Today's uh Memorial Day is a bit different in that uh, there are others who have died of Ebola and the death was so sudden. We see that uh, these people died one after another in their large number. And so coming to uh, decorate or to remember them today is so sad. Emma David had no place to go to remember. Her husband was cremated after dying in an Ebola treatment facility. She did not know what happened to his ashes. He was taken to the ETU. After four days, the, the court informed me that he had passed. I asked for a party. I wanted to bury him. At least have a grave to show to my children that today I could go and take away. That me and my children could carry around with my family. But no way. I did not receive a body, sir. I did not see a body for the day he was taken. <laughs> the shelves of their little shop in front of their house are empty. Samuel C. David had been the breadwinner of the family of eight. Emma David's sisters came to help fill the emptiness. David says she might soon create her own place to commemorate her husband and put some flowers, but not today. Benno Muchler with Prince Collins, DON News, Margibi County.